Is this thing working? All right, perfect. Time to get started. Posted a video in a long time. Well, it's because a lot of you have recommended that I do a vlog channel about a current science project that I've been given by my teacher. So, basically the project is about making something uh, related to electricity. So we were, giving a, we were given a vast amount of choices. We were, first we could have wrote an essay about how to s could, uh, save electricity. We could have made an infographic regarding a topic on electricity. Or we could make a really fun board game. Or the last choice that I chose, we could have made a device that helps produce electricity, such as a hydroelectric um, uh, electric dam. We could have made a solar cell panel or we could have made a biogas electric generator. A question that um, a viewer had asked me was, why did, you make, why did you choose a biogas generator? Well, first of all, I chose a biogas generator because I thought it was pretty creative. Like, other than writing an essay, making an infograph, I really like building and, well, a biogas generator seemed the most creative because we always see a solar panel on people's roofs or we see hydroelectric dams like some near Lake Ontario. Um, well, it, it converts garbage to electricity. And I've also had this passion for building things, but that doesn't mean my career choice would be an engineer or a construction worker. I actually want to become a doctor, but, well, I've always wanted to make it because my family produces a lot of garbage and we also create, um, we produce, uh, we use a lot of electricity, right? So. I thought that, oh, why can't we um, use, uh, use our garbage to create electricity, right? And also, I was watching this show, right? It's called Johnny Test. Some of, you, some of you may not know it, but basically they traveled back in time and they had nothing else to use other than pigs, right? The sisters used a biogas generator and they used manure from the pig, right? The methane gas and they created electricity. And also the last reason why I chose it was because I've also had a lot of experience from previous grades such as grade 6 and 7. And in grade 7 is what have you done in your preliminary phase? So basically you mean what are your first steps? What did you already do for this project? Well first of all I right and I also have most of the most of the ingredients and materials that I need. For example I have a tubing cutter. I've got some tubing and there's copper tubing down there. You can see there, there's a bunch of sandpaper there, right here. There's hammers, there's a bucket that I'll need, and there's some, there, I, I think you can see glue stick over there. There's sponges. I have lots of stuff. And um, there's also some, some doweling down here, but um, I can't find that yet. So, yeah, I'll see if I can find that. And also, what, that was a great question, and... Well, the next question is, um, how do you plan on getting this project done? It seems like a pretty big project, right? So, how I plan on getting it done is, well, first of all, I have to make room for air. I know that not every project goes successfully, right? So, I have to plan for, like, let's say my editing system not working, right? But that barely happens, right? Or my computer may crash down. Or, like, I have to use my Mac, right? Because, um my iMac right upstairs it's not working because well the wires are out and plus the uh, the room is being painted for now so I can't go in there and also what I've done is that I've put this in almost all of my agendas so like I've circled the dates when it's due I believe it's due in two weeks right yeah so I well I guess that's all for my blog so or sorry for my vlog right and I guess this was a great first vlog, so tell me in the comment description down below if you want to see more vlogs just like this.